Hey guys. What up, dude? <laughs> welcome or welcome back. Welcome or. <laughs> welcome or. It's been two weeks. How have we been? I've been good. I've been good too. Well, not too. School's about over for us. School, we are in our last week of classes at the Ohio State University. I just had my last class today. I didn't because I have a presentation that's worth like most of my grade mm-hmm. on do on yeah Thursday. but it's with your cool professor yeah he's cool it's his last semester teaching here so he's like that's why i haven't been in it um that's why i haven't been here that's why i have like today he came in wearing flip-flops i was like oh okay because <laughs> i like <laughs> he was wearing flip-flops <laughs> and shorts his toes were out dude because i because we had an exam today i wouldn't I have been able to focus at all for two classes and Ew, was he wearing flip-flops for both yeah so <laughs> so we had an exam our final exam in one of the classes i he walks in here I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Comes in, straw on with his flip flops. <laughs> awesome. Were they like the thick straps? Yeah. Like the, <laughs> like the man, like the, yeah. bra, like the OP, yeah. like those brands. Yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, you know, but he, he told us today, we like met with our groups. He was like, this is like my last semester. I won't be here in the fall, lol. So that's probably, that's why I said, fuck it. Like he literally yeah. said that. I was like, period. Period. And he gave us our exam and he's like, the spacing's fucked. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Oh, he, he cusses all the time. Oh, the period. Okay. Love him. I do love him. Do you want to know? Uh, sorry if we look a little flushed. Uh, we've been playing on the place at like children, like playground, like at the playground yeah, across the street from. There's a our playground apartment. across from my apartment. We were playing on it. We it was fun. We were swinging. We were swinging. We were swinging. We were swinging. Jumping up and down on the elevator. That's from bedtime stories. Remember that? Bouncing up and down on the. Go, 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 <laughs> go. Hey, so good. She on the road. She right there like carnival. I didn't need the impossible. Mm. TikTok race party, but it's just me and Kelly. Playboy Cardi's verse is the best in that. No, but yeah. he's like, I don't listen to that. with my eyes. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I did a TikTok. I'm much about a body. I'm ready to leap. Did you not see His it? voice is so sexy for what? Did you not see my TikTok transition? No. Nope. Well, I'm going to show you right now. I'll get your live reaction. Um, link is in the description below. My glasses are fogging up a little bit. That's for real, actually. Because you're hot? A little bit. Hey, babe, did see this. We're gonna get copyrighted. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I hate. Should I do no glasses stream? Stream? Podcast? If you want. I can't see anything, so. Okay, you guys. What? It, okay, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Nothing? Everything? All at once? I've had a really busy last two weeks just with school and then work and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll put these back on when my face cools down a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't been doing much. I've watched a lot of movies though. Less? No. Two nights ago, I saw, um, I watched this movie because it was on Max. It was on HBO Max, whatever. It's called Species. Look it up. It's from 1995. It is one of those like shitty sci-fi movies. It's so funny. Yeah, you were telling me about Rated it. Rated one and a half stars. Here, I'll show you the um, the letterbox vibe. Also, follow us on Letterboxd. Mine's yeah. Super Duper Kelly. What's yours, Aaliyah Centers? Yeah, I think it's just my name. Period, follow us. I think Should we start a movie name. review channel? Dude, no one would watch that. Because our <laughs> movies would be like, Guy was hot, five stars. <laughs> Smash. Smash. Smash ability. <laughs> and fucking This actually got scale. three locks. Three locks. Three likes. From who? Me, me, John, and who? You. Luca. Did you like I, it? I don't think I like it. You didn't it. even like it. Oh, Some okay. girl named Lindsay Alaska and her picture is Shiv from. I only like Succession. the reviews when I get on it. When this I watch guy a named PT99. Okay, so randos. And John. Hey. Of course. Shout out, shout out John. Um, yep. Okay, but my my review was here's the movie poster, you guys. Dude, Kelly's, like, really cool. adamant about this movie. She's been telling me about Dude, it all day. first of all, when I tell you that Alfred Molina was looking sexier than a boat, you do not Yeah, he, understand. Kelly's like, how old do you think he looks in this movie? I said, Here, like, 19. Let me show you what he looked like in that movie. And I was, and she was like, yeah, he's actually 43 years old. Bro was 43 in this movie. There's absolutely no way. Um, but that is my man. That is Doc Ock. So... <laughs> we need to do an episode of our crushes. Yeah, we will do that eventually. Because I have a whole ranking system. Okay, so this is the movie. If you can see that. Species. 
it's so bad. Um, in my, I rated it one and a half stars, and it said nah because if Alfred Molina was chasing me around the city, I'd surrender day zero. <laughs> yeah, and that's period. But yesterday, I saw the first Spider-Man movie in theaters with Tobey Maguire. First time yeah. I went to the movies alone. And then next Monday, we're gonna go see Spider-Man two. Dos. And guess who's Dos in that movie? Say- Alfred Molina with Doc- as Doctor Octavius. Doc Ock in my. Oh. Cock. Talk on my cock. Well, dude, him in No Way Home, like when those trailers came out, I was like, I remember him. Yeah. Because he was like, hello, Peter, or whatever. Oh, hello, God. Peter. And I was like, I remember him because I seen him like a billion times. Well, yeah. And then I saw an Dr. Otto Octavius edit on my For You page. And I you said, were like, That's- oh, actually, he's hot. <laughs> oh, actually, he's hot. And it started a revolution coming around three years now. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> does love him. Now. We gotta, we gotta get going. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I yeah. appreciate you talking about your, your <laughs> one of my main men. Well, yeah, this is like, this is not like the first time. Last time she's gonna talk about him. No. So just be warned. No, it's something about me. I'm always gonna be. Did you do your songs of the week? Are we let's, doing that now? Let's do that first because we usually do that and we didn't do that last time. Okay. Yes, we did. We did it at the end. Yeah, but okay. So, my, do you want me to go or you want to go? Whatever. Okay. My first one's going to be SOS by ABBA. Period. Baby, here we go. Can't you hear me? SOS. Ava was singing it to me the other day. Oh. Period. My, re- my roommate, Ava. Ava Shout Lynn. Out. Ava Lynn does watch. Here you go, Ava. Ava All Lynn. right. You go. My first one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, your third one. <laughs> Die. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually going to mean. Uh, Ghost by Ella Henderson. Do you know that song? I keep going to the river to no, pray. Uh, I forgot <laughs> about that song. The ghost of you it keeps me awake. That song? I forgot about that I song. heard it. I said this just... Brought- I keep... There were so many vines with that song. Yeah, it just like sparked something in me. There were so many Grey's Anatomy vine edits with that song. Yeah. Dude. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about, too. Dude, That's vine? Crazy. Okay, I can't. I'm not. Okay, okay. we can't. Oh, I'm going to do I'm Only Me with When I'm With You by Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's valid. I'm only up when you're not down. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, Tori Kelly. That was one of <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> no, I'd be fucking BB get, Gun. That's Kelly's <laughs> favorite. BB <laughs> Gun. <laughs> I'd be Nerf Gun. <laughs> Aerosoft Gun. Okay. Uh, um, He'd be Water Gun. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck <laughs> um shout out to carrie because that was her one of her surprise songs when she saw taylor swift Period. um and i was always like i would fucking i would not be happy with we that had three surprise, surprise songs song, so. we did yeah we did mm-hmm. um but yeah so she we played that over sometime because i had, i keep having to drive her because her car broke down and sh- her she's not getting her car until like this weekend or something so every every trip is gotta be taylor swift so Oh, yeah. That's... I'll, like, find a Taylor Swift song that I've known forever and be like, oh, my God, I forgot how good that was. That's... that's, That... Okay, I'm gonna... You're gonna... I'm gonna add You know what we call that in? When someone has, like, a point and then you, like, bring it back to your point? Yeah. Bridging. That was on my exam today. I was gonna say a callback, but that works, too. Bridging is the communication term. term. Okay, comm major. That is a strategic messaging design term. My second song is going to be Jolene by Beyonce. I okay. know you're not a Queen Bee f- fan. I watched Brittany Broski's podcast of her breaking down the whole album. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. Can we I like her? Beyonce well enough. I know, but I'm just saying you're not like. I'm not like. Not, not, it's not her. like Taylor Swift. No, no. Well, yeah. But her rendition of Jolene. I've heard it. Um, literally changed my life. I have not felt that way listening to a song since I listened to Running Up That Hill from Stranger Things. Dude, that song is that, so good. I don't know what that awoke in me, but I got that same feeling in the bridge of this song. I don't know why. I loved this song. It was so good. Jolene. Jo- okay. I'm warning you. Don't come for my man. <laughs> I don't want your man, Jay-Z. He- she said, I raised that man. I raised his kids. And that man cheated on you. <laughs> How could you cheat on me, Dude, Dude, you're Jay-Z. You're ugly as shit. <laughs> Bro is actually fugly. <laughs> if anyone's fugly, it's him. <laughs> fugly That's is so the polar real. opposite of smexy. Also, <laughs> call back to a previous episode when we said David Spade Smash. He liked her story <laughs> he yesterday. Did, he did like my Instagram story the uh, yesterday because I posted a clip of I forgot about that. Uh, he posted a, I posted I about that. 
a clip uh, that he posted on my story, and he was like, if I let you into traffic, and <laughs> you're lucky there's not a gun in the car. I, I was like, that is so, so something that we would say. That's so something like, yeah. and I was like, that's so funny. And Dana was like, okay. Like, Dana never, that podcast is so funny because David is literally constantly the funniest person ever. And then Dana like never acknowledges any joke that he says. Yeah. Um, so it's like, I love that. And then so I posted that on my story. David Spade liked it. And I was yeah. like, okay, we are one step closer to getting freaked on. <laughs> Luke was to my like, bed, I was in my freaked it. Luca was like, um, you should be his controversially young GF. I was like, <laughs> okay, Leo. Um, Come on, Leo. I literally will be. Leo Cap. <laughs> I literally will be David Spade if you're watching. <laughs> David Spade if you want to follow. If you're watching. I'm closer to your daughter's age, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's really fine. Show it to me, Rachel. <laughs> Show it to me, please. David Spade, save me. <laughs> <laughs> save me from the ass. No, yeah. but like. What's your oh third my song? God. My third song. Oh, I was going to say. Because you said running up that hill. <laughs> Shout out to Luca because Luca Day Bush fan. Day Luca one. liked that song back like years ago. I think that their one of their top songs in like 2018 on Spotify was oh like God. running up that hill. So they've been a Kate Bush fan. I just wanted y'all to know that. And I wanted them to know that I'm acknowledging that. Every time I, I think of that, that song. Every, I mean, I have uh, every night. It was playing in. Whenever um, I want to feel something again. It was playing in like Polaris the other day, I think. I was like, oh, it's oh. a little. Okay. Um, period. but I just wanted Luca to know that I, every time I think about the song, I think about them. Period. All right, my third one is going to be another Taylor Swift song. Okay, it's going to be White Horse. Okay, period. Of course, because hold on, the lyrics. She's like that. This is a small town. This isn't Hollywood. Like I'm not like used to love like this. Like I'm not a princess. This is not a fairy tale. Like. Mm-hmm you're going to treat me bad, like, because that's how it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, oh, you're begging on your knees for me, and I'm so sorry because I'm not your princess. This isn't a fairy tale. I'm going to find someone someday who might actually treat me well. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, yeah, and she ate. She's like, this is a big world that was a small town. You're in my rearview mirror. I was like, oh, Ooh. and that's very, like, hitting home for me. No, that's valid. In the, in the past few. My Travi just won. <laughs> Approval. So glad that Javi won. <laughs> <laughs> One step closer to Kelsey being my last name. That song eats. <laughs> that. <laughs> in like the in like the that's guilty pleasure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, enough. So that was my third song. My third song is actually gonna be um Come and Get Your Love by Redbone. Oh period. It's really popular on TikTok right now and I just love it. It's so cute. And it's from Guardians of the Galaxy. But, um additional song. That I've been listening to, like a mofo is just fearless. It's so capture fun. it, remember it. I don't know. Yeah, I we were love that about song. White Horse. And Whenever I, like, I hear the, I think of her skipping out on stage. Yeah. When we saw I think her, about the. Um, I think about the concert so often. <laughs> I think of I was. Whenever I hear the beginning of that song, it makes me think of um, the one that's like. Taylor Swift. Fearless. Big now. Red. 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 1989. Lover. Folklore. No, we skipped reputation. Big rep. Er, because reputation. Lover. Folklore. Folklore. Evermore. Midnight. <laughs> and that's going to be the Dodger Pop Department. <laughs> like, it's going to be like. That comes out on Thursday. No, Friday. Friday. Yeah, the 19th. I don't think that works. Okay, guys. The podcast today is actually going to be Guilty Pleasures. Okay, I get a fourth song, too. I Miss You, I'm Sorry by Gracie Okay, Abrams. period. And she's about to release I Love You, I'm Sorry. And she, I Miss You, I'm Sorry. She literally played it with Taylor at the played concert it, we went to. Played it. Okay. Guilty Pleasures, you go first. Okay. Drinking and- Alone. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. Also, this is also things that, like, we like, but we probably shouldn't type thing. Yes, yeah. I don't really have any Guilty Pleasures because I'm not... I don't feel bad about it. I don't it really feel bad. Anything, I don't feel judged. But like some people might think it's weird. Yeah. Okay, so my first one's actually gonna be drinking alone. Hey, I love getting shit faced by myself. Period. You don't drink, so no. you know. My guilty pleasure staying sober. <laughs> Stay sober, kids. Stay sober or get draft sober again. My guilty pleasure over. is actually drinking and driving. <laughs> <laughs> my guilty pleasure is committing vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> uh maybe getting a DUI. <laughs> my guilty pleasure. Open um, container. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would be drinking alone. I don't know. There's just something like really like n- like just peaceful about it. Drinking, I mainly wine. That's my go-to there, and then I'll just like play Animal Crossing or something. Period. It's my guilty so pleasure. Actually, I'm like, 
that I just thought of going to the movies alone. That was so much fun. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't have to worry about well, anybody else. there's your tenth one. Yeah, I don't have to worry about anybody else. You know what I mean? You just... Mm-hmm. Oh, I loved it. All right. So, do you want to go since I just made that one on the fly? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you go again. Um... <laughs> Okay, so this one's actually going to be a kid's show that I've been obsessed with for a few years now. Oh my god, I know exactly what it is. Uh, it's a Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Yeah, Noir. I knew that. I knew that. Miraculous! Simply the best I've never in watched the daytime. So I'm Marinette. What the fuck? Just this normal girl with a normal life. There's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's miraculous. It's oh so my good. god. Okay, yeah. I used to do voice impressions of all of them. Um, in used high to. school. In high school. I have not done that since. <laughs> Hi. I'm Miraculous Ladybug. No. Is that her name? What's her name? Marinette. Marinette. But her Sorry. is secret. Oh, like Hannah Montana. Yeah, and they don't know who each other whoa, is. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> the transition sounds are so oh. funny. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah! <laughs> Do you know what you're talking about? Oh! <laughs> Dude, I love wow. that show. Okay. okay. But yeah, I there's something about it. It like it like makes me so excited. And the new season just dropped on Netflix. I cannot <laughs> wait to watch it. <laughs> and I don't care. Stop. Period. Period. Cataclysm! I, yeah. Is that from the show? Yeah. Okay. Miraculous Ladybug! Okay, it's not bad that you watch the show. It's bad that you do shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You sound like an anime character. Yeah. So I know. And the show, the show is actually originally in Franck. <laughs> oh, français. Yeah, they speak oui, Franck. Oui. Je ne sais quoi. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. It's a Disney Junior show. <laughs> Back in the day, it was Playhouse Disney. <laughs> yep. Back for the real, real ones. The though. OGs know about that. <laughs> Okay, my guilty pleasure. I sometimes will turn on Joe Rogan. <laughs> Kelly. I, I love him. I follow him on Instagram. He's so fucking funny. Are you kidding me? Like when Theo Vaughn's on it, when Shane Gillis is on it. Well, that's different. Dude, Bill Burr was on it. Oh my God. Well, it is so yeah, funny. Yeah, when it's people that we approve of. <laughs> but Joe Rogan and like, I don't know. I think Some of funny. his stuff is funny. I, I think agree. he's funny. But I don't watch him on a regular basis. I don't so. watch him like a lot. But like sometimes I'm like, I talked to a guy Joe one Rogan time. Up to? Talked to a guy one time that used to call me female. Oh, was he a Joe Rogan listener? Yeah, constantly. And he was like, "Why don't you listen to Joe Rogan?" And he was like, "What did he say?" He said, "He said men are actually more um, what does he say? Stereotyped than women." Oh, are they? And I said, "Yeah, really. You want to say that to my face next time?" Also, Joe Rogan used to be on this show called News Radio that I watched. Look at this. Yeah, that if was a this, hot take, Kelly. If this would let... I knew it was. I mean... Oh. You're going to look at me <laughs> tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> I can, From a single person's perspective, I could see how you could find him hot as fuck. That full head of hair. Oh my God. Guys, watch the, Watch wow. news radio, bro. Are he you was, ovulating? <laughs> I was. <laughs> last week. Last week was tough. <laughs> yeah. Last week was tough. Dude, I was like, I get my man alone in a room when I'm ovulating. Ooh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> might end up in the hospital in about nine months. I literally so. texted Luca earlier today. I'm I said, at figured the- out why I was H word and desperate was <laughs> ovulating. Makes so much sense. <laughs> H word and desperate is such a crazy combo. And I said was ovulating. So. No, if I'm alone in a room with my man when I'm shedding some eggs. If I'm alone in a room by myself. If my fallopian tubes are open, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I know you're talking about. But yeah, so that's going to do for me every time. Yeah. yeah that's, and mean, he played the electrician who was like, okay, we're good. And he was like call really good with like his, and his name was Joe in the show. Oh. And I was like, oh my God, and he was like Benny. I was like, Okay. Hey, Joe Rogan. So Phil Hartman was the true star of that show. Okay. Phil Hartman's fine as fuck. I don't even care. Do you know who Phil Hartman is? Mm-hmm. But I don't think he's hot. Oh, my God. You are so wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. You are literally so wrong. My next one is so random. Oh, I gotta find a picture of Phil Hartman. A good one. That's a bad one. Dude, I think I'm getting calluses from when we were From the swing set? We were there for, yeah, like, 20 look. minutes. Look at them. They hurt. Oh, my God. You didn't look, ho. Yes, I did. Look at them. I see them. 
I know we were there for like 10 minutes and I literally got a callus because I'm fat obese out of shape. You're gonna let me tell me that I'm wrong. I don't like his hairline. It's giving Pennywise a little bit. What? Kelly, go back to that picture. Mm. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. Do I have an album called Men? Yes, I do. Okay, period. <laughs> okay, anyway. Sorry. I'm like... She's I'm probably calling at the wall of her enclosure. <laughs> okay, so my next one's actually going to be licking butter off the inside of the popcorn bag. What? <laughs> like, if you make popcorn in the microwave? Oh, I thought you meant, like, the buckets at, like, AMC. I'm like, no, I can't eat that. Oh. There's too much iodine in it, remember? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, um, I know you're talking about. I used to do that when no, I was, like, and, like, six. Me and Grace, one of my childhood friends, we used to... What are you throwing around? Don't mind on? me. We used to make popcorn bags after school, and we would eat all the popcorn and then rip the bags apart and then suck on the bags <laughs> and, eat, and, like, lick all the popcorn off of it or the butter. It was so good. Was it bad crazy. for us? Yeah, of course. We also used to make, like, when we would make mac and cheese, we'd make two boxes of it and each eat a box <laughs> <laughs> when we were, like, 11. That's funny. It was so good. I used to eat like shit used to. Oh, uh, <laughs> used to. I used to. I'm like, oh. we're getting sweet treat after this. We were planning where we were going. Literally. And I said to Kelly earlier, I said, instead of 75 hard, we did 75 sweet treats. <laughs> we did 75 sweet treats in a day. Um, I put my shorts on today. Got we did 75 level. grams of sugar per day. <laughs> <laughs> More than that. Ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, here's mine. Loki like having my friends start drama like with each other <laughs> like i'm not involved but like well yeah they're like you know who's kind of pissing me off and i'm like who and i'd say someone in our friend group i'm and like, you're like oh my god me too i'm like that's tea what are you gonna do about it <laughs> it's like i just like to know you know what i mean no it's odd it's like but not like my good friends like if you no, were like i have it- a problem with like luke i'd be like oh okay what the fuck? What's i the literally have a gun <laughs> <laughs> um it's either you are kidding or you're dying. There's actually a bomb under your seat. It's gonna go off. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you were to say that, I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, but if it was like some rando person, like that, there's we- a bomb in this room somewhere. <laughs> Last one to find it, you know what happens. <laughs> and you're like, me and Luke already know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> me and Luke have identified the bomb. Um, no, but like, you know what I mean? But if it was like friends that like, we went to a party with like we see them like twice a year and you're oh like, they're like i kind of don't like them it's like and we get along with them but we don't hang out and i'm like them. oh my god it's our drama yeah yeah like oh weird. my god do you like see me at a party like you know like the drama i was telling you about yesterday or the day before with yeah like because we're not involved in that at all well first of all that's like i mean like actual drama not like i know it's like actual drama but that's like, like so like high school yeah because when you text me that, I'm like, I don't give two fucks just for high school. You're doing, I don't care. But yeah, you know, whatever. Okay, period. Yeah. So what's yours? Kind of like vibe with that mm-hmm. a little bit. Piggybacking off what I said. <laughs> Picking off. Picking off. <laughs> Picking off. That's what you do. <laughs> oh my god, you're familiar with that trade too. <laughs> what? Picking off, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> canceling plans to be alone period <laughs> i loved it when the plan gets canceled yes oh my god oh and my god was something you were really looking forward to no that's different but, like, but if it's a plan that someone's like oh my god come to a party and i'm like okay period i'll be there and then they're like Ooh, Ooh, party's off i'm like <laughs> you're like dang it i was really looking forward oh uh, feel better <laughs> <girl."> <laughs> Or your friend's like, hey, actually, I, like, I have a headache. I don't know if we can go. I'm like, oh, I feel better, girl. And then I'm like, oh, yes, I get to be a At my core, I'm, I'm lazy bones. <laughs> at my core, I'm lazy bones. <laughs> not even at my core. It's me normally. I love to. I'm horizontal 80% of the day. Yeah, that's true. I'm surprised Another 20% I don't have I'm in this chair. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a stroke yet. <laughs> so I know. Pulmonary embolism, if you will. <laughs> I was like, I always told myself when I was sitting here, I was like, I will never have a sedentary job. Me, mm-hmm. always sitting. <laughs> Me on my phone. Phone on bed is the day. <laughs> Going to class is like the secondary Horizontal activity. Time. <laughs> the primary activity is, if there was a pie chart on my day, it'd be that. No, yeah. It'd be horizontal phone time. Yeah. But yeah, 100%. I do, I do like when plans get canceled so I can be alone. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, I love that. Okay. Mine is listening to country music. Okay, period. I fucking love country music. People are like, how can you listen to country music? Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. I dug my key, so you said. Yeah. Um. No, people are like. Oh, Nate, I scold me. never broke my heart. I'm literally seeing him over summer. Sorry so am you. I. Sorry, you bitch. We're both going to be a pick or. But not together. Together. Better together. A point Some books things just go all. better together. And all. Some. No. What is the word? Some always will. Like a cup of coffee after sunrise. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know the song, but you're not singing it correctly. What's the word? Something. I don't fucking good. know. We're going to get so copyrighted. We keep singing all no, these songs. We're not going to get copyrighted. Two people watch our video. <laughs> when we're rich and famous, it, it'll be fine. It, it'll be different. It'll be worth it. All right. Okay. But I know what you're talking about. My favorite Luke Combs song is Six Feet Apart. I don't care. That one's such a good one. He's like, first thing I'm going to do is slide into some corner booth. Take the whole damn family out. Yeah. Catch a movie, catch a cab. Yeah. Pay extra on the tab. Probably overwash my hands. Oh my god. I miss my mom. I miss my dad. Miss what? the road. I miss my fans. Okay. Giving hugs. Sing? Shaking hands. Why are you singing that today? <laughs> you know, singing that song. Yeah. Yeah. It's me three hot spots. With a long list fingers. Baby cries. Listen to that song shows. after uh, Redacted Matt Rife. Ooh, in the car ride. Did. And then my car exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Next day. No, it was that same night. <laughs> I went to, um, I went to the, Yeah, because I went to the point after. It's mystery. Okay. okay. I'm just going to sing this song all day. Q Drewski. My next that. one. Mm-hmm. Kind of piggybacking off what you said. Music. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fat ass <laughs> piggying off music. of you. Stop. <laughs> I think I ain't. <laughs> didn't take the meat off your bones. Do it, fatty. Ah. Um, that's like a boar, not a pig. Stop. Boar's head. <laughs> AD audio. What about it? That's my guilty pleasure. It's <laughs> just stupid as fuck. <laughs> I love like, it. Close your eyes, put your AirPods in. Okay. And you're in a different. Have world. you ever? Have you ever, ever listened to the Twilight Zone? And it has the knocking. The, the Katrina, Twilight Zone. Katrina, if you're watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Twilight Zone. The show? No, and there was, and it's like you close your eyes, and it's like. I think it's weird that people you can hear people walk behind yeah. you. Yeah, it's that, so, it's cool, but it's like eh. it's some makes my tism tick or something. I like love it, and you know what? The best song I've listened to with AD Audio is what? there's two of them that I always listen to whenever I listen to them. It's Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush <laughs> and Lucid Dreams. <laughs> I still see your shadows in my room. That one? Take that girl. Oh, that I <laughs> yeah, I would listen to it on the bus ride from the games. So, so me and Val and Sophia, sorry. not Sophia, sorry Sophia, um, Olivia and Baker, we all went to the Big Time Rush concert. Yeah. And me and Val for weeks after we went, <laughs> I've been thinking about you worldwide, worldwide. <laughs> like we would like worldwide, like fake do it. Hey, maybe do that motion again. Slut. Well, it would. I'm not actually gonna do the uh, the exaggerated, but <laughs> if you and we used to do that. We used to get on the stage at um because we have to like set up like you a got party. on the stage at Big Time Rush. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> what are you talking Tony, about? Bro, we got on the stage uh, at Tony, and um, I wanted to be on the dancing Tony team so bad. Oh, the live shows, dude. <laughs> fuck <laughs> those guys. That was so annoying. I wanted to see because so we bad. heard the same show all the time. Oh yeah, and it was always like because the last show was so annoying. It was always like I'm a sucker for you. <laughs> it's like y'all can't see dancing on top of cars. <laughs> Literally, all <laughs> uh, you through the dark and get in the. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, and the, the, the candy store would literally be shaking. <laughs> and people would be like, when's the next live show? Huh? <laughs> it's right now. Bro. Hey, <laughs> go out. Turn the hearing <laughs> out on because it's you. <laughs> need to go out the corner and take a left. It's, it would be right there. <laughs> it is on the left, period. I know. Oh, yeah, you have been to Cody Island. I've been to Cody Island. You're like, wait, how the f do you know that? How the fuck did you know that, though? Because I've literally been in the candy store being fat ass. You guys have been to Candy Island at Coney Island. <laughs> <laughs> candy Island at Coney Island. Candy Island at Coney Island. Then it was the birthday room, <laughs> and now it's bulldozed over, probably. <laughs> now it's destroyed. <laughs> Dilapidated. <laughs> now it's um, a passion project. <laughs> that was a crazy word that I just pulled out of Dilapidated? There. Yeah. Yeah. Brando word. That is crazy. Okay, go. Is it my turn? Oh. Watching the Kardashians. 
Fuck y'all, they're funny as fuck. That's not guilty pleasure, I don't think. It used to be. I want to tell it like, used to be. If you, like, tell a man, <laughs> if you tell a man you watch the Kardashians, they're like, oh. oh. <laughs> or like Love oh. Island. Oh. But like the the next generation, like yeah. Generation Alpha, when they say they're watching Love's, uh, Love Island. Yeah. It's like the same thing. Yeah. Just like new. Yeah, because I'm like, I love the Kardashians are so funny. No, I like don't care. literally any reality TV, I don't care. It's so good. Have you watched The Circle? No. Circle's but also, I have well, Keeping Up with The Bachelor War on here. I okay. love The Bachelor. I, I follow this account called Bachelor at Windmill. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I literally love it. Oh my God. I, I literally love all those shows. And people, you no, literally tell any man. I'm thinking of a singular man in particular who I told that I used to watch The Bachelor and I used to watch Bachelor and I used to watch Kardashians. Oh. A singular man in particular. And he was like, that's stupid. That's so weird. That's so dumb. Oh, oh my god. Do you also do that in your when you're doing your nails and you're doing your hair and then and, 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 and having your period <laughs> 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 and going through menopause and giving birth? Yeah. Probably and PMSing, probably. It's like it's that time of the month, isn't it? <laughs> it's like they love um, it's what? shark week, isn't it? <laughs> like, do you watch your shows when you're out there getting absolutely no bitches? Hey, how about <laughs> this? Can you eat a meal while not watching YouTube. <laughs> it's literally YouTube. It's so real. <laughs> like, hey. Can you go 15 minutes without me explaining something you think? <laughs> Can you eat maybe your lunch without watching Cody Co? <laughs> Dude. I love it. I love Cody Co and eating time. <laughs> Hot take. Cody Co's not as funny as it used to be. Okay, period. He's getting repetitive. How many fucking button videos can we watch, bro? <laughs> okay, I'll let you stand on that hill. I'm not going to join you. Luca, where you at? Me and Luca talked about this for BCO. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Period. My next one. Stan, Stan, Chloe Kardashian, my favorite. She's so funny. Okay, go. Chloe's the best I one. I think Chloe's my favorite. Chloe is. Me and Chloe would be like this. No, Chris is my favorite, for sure. Period. Me and Chloe would Chris be like this. Chris is so funny. Rip Chloe's dad, OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Trip. <laughs> um, my next one's actually going to be. Uh, Banquet chicken pot pie. What about it? <laughs> That's Michael Scott <laughs> eating that. You sound like Michael Scott when he would like <laughs> eat the two chicken pot pies and fall asleep, and they would like change the clock. That's so me. <laughs> I love chicken pot pie, and especially the ones from Banquet. I don't know what it is. It reminds me of my dad for some reason. I have never had a chicken pot pie. You wouldn't like it. Never in my life. <laughs> never in my life have I. Ever I know you it. just wouldn't like it. Okay, I probably wouldn't. It's got like peas in it, doesn't it? And carrots. Peas. Yeah. Peas. peas. Me and carrots. Jenny was like peas and carrots. Oh my gosh, I just talked about Forrest Gump today. Really? Yeah, he's part of my disability studies project. Him and Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you even got kidding. magic legs and in- titanium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was um, talking about how Forrest Gump is not a good representation of uh, disability. Yeah, because he literally was like the whole thing is about him having a low IQ and like achieving these like outstanding things, but yeah. it's only heartwarming because he has a disability. I never saw it like that. I never saw him as stupid. Oh, that was like my whole thing. Oh, I never did. I just like I like and then like him not I being able to run because people think people who have like southern accents are automatically are, are stupid, stupid yeah. and they think they have lower well, IQ. Yeah, the only reason we didn't think that though because was because we grew up near the south. Yeah, I guess. And when I watched that movie, I never thought of him as stupid. I thought of him as if you watch it now, maybe you're gonna be like, oh. One time I watched that movie for a week straight to see if I cried every single time I did, but I thought it was heartwarming because. He was in so many events that I, like, when he was with, like, John Lennon, I was like, oh, my God, I love the Beatles. You know what I mean? I never, and I thought it was cool that he played ping pong. I never thought of it as him being disabled. Because you're an able-bodied person. But if you're a person with a disability, that's how you're going to see it. Because that's how they're representing you. But I kind of. making him out to be, like, stupid. The and thing is. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan out to be, like, this hopeless person. Oh, that's true. And you then know he, what I mean? And then, and then he wasn't, he only found hope when he got legs again. Yeah. That's period, actually. Yeah, that's what I was talking I about. I never even thought about it like that. I just thought it was like a war story, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And also, I identified with No, him. and it's sad It's sad as fuck with Bubba. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, that, that's, that movie Five is so shrimp, sad. And grilled I, shrimp. I will always love that in movie, a regardless of how controversial it is, because I love of it. my dad. Your dad is so Forrest My dad Gump. is so Forrest Gump. Dude, so Billy. Me, my dad and Tom Hanks are the same person. Literally. By the way, so. Um, but... My, I remember when I was young, that movie came on, um, on like ABC Family, mm-hmm. and me and Mary were watching it. My dad 
had Mary's my sister by the way if you guys don't know uh, and me and my dad had been gone at work the whole day and he came in right when they said when they were in the bunker like when they were in mm-hmm. the the barracks yeah <laughs> And he went, look at the tits on her. And that's when my dad walked in the door. He went, let's turn the movie off. Oh. I was like, like, no, it's such a good movie. I was like, it's so good, dad. Stop. And then he was, we were like, okay, we turned it off for one second. Then it was another <laughs> scene. We're like, period, back. <laughs> back, back we're to back. it. Um, but yeah, Forrest Gump. I never saw it as like him being, because I identify with him because he has scoliosis. That's valid. That's yeah. why he had the things on his legs. Mm-hmm. He's like, my back's like a like, question mark. And then like Jenny, she has like paranoia and depression and all yeah that and she was uh, an addict suicidal yeah 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 and she was bipolar i think she had all kinds of stuff going on <laughs> she went oh my god she, she's going through it <laughs> that scene with when she's on this the um the balcony used to scare the fuck out of me yeah when she's like about to jump off yeah and yeah. she like almost falls. and they were doing like coke in the dude hotel i hate that too. scene yeah it's so gross okay <laughs> so is that yours what did you say I was on the Kardashians, and you said something. What'd you say? Banquet chicken pot pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because it reminds me. Because I said peas and carrots. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> we don't know how to stay on track. Ever. Guilty pleasure: liking someone you shouldn't. Like, period. You have a crush on someone, and like, you know, you shouldn't fuck with them because your friends are like, oh my oh, god, they don't. Weren't. Yeah. Or like, uh, case in point, me. Case in point, me. Any other guy that I dated before Landon. Not even guys that I ended up dating or like went on dates with. Like we know, just in general. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> the culprit. Yeah, uh, we have a culprit, but not disclosing we can't disclose. that information. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was like Kelly. Like I was going through Kelly. my old. I was going through my old B reels last night, and Ooh. all all the comments that Carrie was like Kelly, and I was like, I'm a weak Ooh. woman. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> or she was like, I'm disappointed. Or she did thumbs down, and yeah. I was like, thumbs up. <laughs> like I don't know what to tell you. Like it was always just like. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that is actually tough cookies. But it's lucky guilty pleasure. Okay. Period. To like be strong along. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is like the thrill of the chase. Yeah. And because you just like them so much. Yeah, and exactly. Like, and but it's get, like, and then there's the highs are high, but the lows are so low. And like the delusion is so real. <laughs> the, de- the delusion? It's like, how is it? Delu- how am I delusional if this is the reality I choose to live in? Okay. Was I delusional though? No. I wasn't. No. If anything, he was fucking delusional. For real. <laughs> period. And that's point blank on that one. That is period point blank. No fucking tampon, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> she ain't got a period. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That is a callback to sophomore year. If I that is a callback if I ever fucking heard one, bitch. Who would know that if they watch this? And George. <laughs> <laughs> and George. Mackenzie Gammon. That's so true. Okay, so my next one is actually going to be kind of gross. <laughs> is he smelling your own farts? No. Okay, I was gonna be like, don't put that. Um, because I don't have that, but I'm just saying, like, no, I'm not. I love my farts. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people say that. No, I'm like, oh. um, making my gums bleed. I like <laughs> literally. That like, is so real. No, because like, I, like, <laughs> I love making them bleed and then the blood. I like how it tastes. Oh, the blood. I don't like the blood. I kind of like the pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get that. I get that part too. But only the gum pain. Like no. if I if I make myself bleed out here, I'm like, no, that like hurts. But like the gum in is the, like in the gum. I, it's like a good. I don't know what it is. And I'm not a masochist. You know what I mean? Like no. I'm not. But it's just like yeah. it's just like I'm gonna <laughs> whip you. No, or, like okay. I always wanted my teeth to like fall out. <laughs> That's not what it was. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? I always wanted rotten teeth. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna be Gypsy Rose, get all my teeth removed. I want to hide right now. Do you know how like got all my teeth taken out? I used to want braces really bad, so I used to try like remove my teeth. My teeth are perfect, by the way. My teeth are literally perfect. I was born with perfectly straight teeth. Period. Fuck y'all if you weren't. I'm kidding. Um, I'm not crooked eyes teeth. You're like, bitch. I know. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I wasn't trying to bring it up. Like, um, no, but um, and I used to try to like. Move, move my them? teeth a little bit just not that much just like kind of like, just see because i thought braces were so cool i used to file my teeth <laughs> what? yeah what? what did it hurt with that nail file that had to hurt <laughs> there was a few there was the first one of the first few episodes of barry that show with bill Hader, a former torture they took a file on fuke's teeth and they like did this i only did it on the front ones oh well that doesn't hurt as much but like Mm-mm. they were like in his back teeth and it was like that has to hurt so bad because my teeth aren't straight so i wanted them to be so you filed them? Yeah, when I was like nine. Period. And then they fell out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> then I was just... But like, I don't know. And it was like the pain of like moving your teeth. It was kind of like... Yeah. Ooh. 
You know when the people get like veneers and they're like rabbit teeth? Do you know what I'm talking about? That's like my biggest fear. Do you know who has rabbit mouth low key? <laughs> Paul Giamatti. <laughs> he's kind of just like, I don't know. I love him, but I noticed that. I was like, oh, he still has a rabbit mouth. But anyway, the gum pain is 100%. Yeah. I, I have to fill out that. Because it's like, why do I kind of like it? And it's like, I love sucking the blood. I don't know what it is. I suck your blood. <laughs> I'm the to suck your blood. <laughs> I've uh, had Dracula What did the, the, the vampire window washer say? I'm the to wash your windows. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke we used to say in daycare. <laughs> daycare? Also, <laughs> what a callback. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I used to say every single day, freshman year of college? I went, what to wear, what to wear. I do remember that. And now Carrie says fair, it. Now Carrie goes, what to wear, what to wear. It's so funny. So silly. So silly. Okay, my next one is <laughs> looking at hate comments on TikToks and Reels and liking them. <laughs> oh, exactly. Instagram Reels is the worst. Dude. Dude, they're crazy. That one guy, the, the worst comments <laughs> are on this one guy who's like a teacher and he's a dwarf. Um, oh, yeah. And his wife's a dwarf and their kids, and their kids are, dwarf are dwarfs. And one of them has like a tube. Yeah. And everyone's like, stop reproducing, mama. And it's like... <gasps> <laughs> and all the comments i'm like oh my god what do you guys know about midget mafia og last uh Re- candy? Reese species Reese's or, or liam lifesaver life gummies and someone said he you died him, they're going they're also he didn't die you know what his um he was an actor yeah, he played the double. body double of an ant in ant <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's actually yeah. real yeah that is real we looked it up He's when we saw quantumania yeah yeah, he's in yeah, a Mod- he Midget in Mafia OG is in the credits. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, the hate comments are fucking crazy. The most brutal ones are on that guy's. Okay. Because <laughs> he's like, everyone's like, why the fuck would you do that to your kid? It's always like someone that has like a physical <laughs> problem. Or, or like, like a minority. Oh, or a mix of both. It's like, that's the best of both worlds for them. And all the comments are so mean. They're so bad. But they're so clever. No, yeah. Sometimes they're so like, clever. I gotta give it to you. It's like, you got the like there. button's like kudos. <laughs> <laughs> like kudos on AO3. Yeah. Literally. Bro, I'd be getting. No, speaking of. That's mission? mine. It's AO3 and character AI. Character AI. In- I've never been on that. AI okay. scares the fuck out of me. I never. Character AI. It, C.AI in combination with AO3. What do you guys know about that? I know about AO3 big time. I get emails all the time. No, Kelly, someone that's kudos you? on your work. Yeah, I'm, I'm a published author, bitch. Don't okay. find my shit, though. <laughs> okay. I'm a publisher out there. But the thing is, character AI is a dangerous game because you can Dude. talk to anyone you want to and you can make them say anything you want to them. Dude. You know what? Anything that you want them to say to you. Do you know what? Um, I hear all the time is the Snape ones. Dude. <laughs> it's not that. It's like you text them. Oh, shit. But it's I hear like the that. Snape like, voice. Yeah, that's the voice one. This is like just the characters. Like, you can text them. My mom them. sent me this meme, or she showed it to me on Facebook. Meme. It was like, things I wanted to ride in Hogwarts. And it was like a broom. And it was like the train. And it was like um, the carriages with the um, the horses. And uh-huh. then it was Snape. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and my mom was like, look, you. <laughs> Damn, got me. <laughs> she got me. She was your like, eyes. you vibes. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh. Or my mom showed me the the Saul Goodman, the Lilf, the War. I'd like to fuck. What she are goes, those you. Called? The Whisper. What thing? The they start with an N. Did you do the Luna voice? I can see them too. Yeah, yeah. Just to say, I don't remember Zion. what they're called. But my mom showed me a picture of Saul Goodman, and it said, "Lawyer, I'd like to fuck." And my mom goes, "You." I was like, "Got me." Why is? What's her name? <laughs> Lisa Frank. <laughs> My mom watches these though. Hey, Lisa Frank. Hey, mom. That's what I always call you to Kelly. Yeah, that's truth. Um, but Tress, I call you mom. I got my mommy. She's outing you. She is. She knows me way too well. Oh, uh, she goes. You probably uh, like him. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh, the camera died again. It just battery. I'm telling you. Is it your turn or mine? I was talking about. I was talking about AO3. Yeah, we're still on that. Yeah. So that was that was A-O3. pretty much it my life because no, i thought yeah. the world only consisted of wattpad. wattpad and then ao3 is like when you become a woman because it's like wattpad then you move to tumblr and no then, yeah and then you get a link from tumblr to ao3 and you're like oh my Whoa. god and then Dude. and then the real womanhood requesting an account on ao3 and then getting it yeah 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, <laughs> they do you guys my life. know about that? But y'all need to get updating some fan fiction because I, yeah. I when you read forty two chapters in the forty third chapter in there, it's like, oh my god. There is this, I'm not gonna it, No, it don't actually. maybe we're not gonna get into You that. know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I, <laughs> we can't get into that right now. We could do a chapter. I mean, a episode about that, about although. fan fiction alone. Yeah. Okay. Um, gatekeeping things. I love to gatekeep. <laughs> Period. You do love to gatekeep. I love to. Kelly has been a day one gatekeeper since we were eleven years old. Literally, I love gatekeeping. I'm so sorry. I love to do it. She's been doing it since we were little. I really love it. It's like I liked it first. Leave me alone. I like it more than you. I like it in a way that you could never. No, that makes sense. No, I get it completely. Yeah, I love gatekeeping things. If you are, um, like, with, what's it called? Um, there's this guy that I'm friends with, his name's Peter, and we are, like, the biggest Conan O'Brien fans ever. Mm-hmm. And Conan has been getting a lot of attention lately online. Yeah. And I was, like, I love that Conan's getting attention. Like, y'all need to love him. Like, he deserves it. But I'm, like, you will never love him like we do. <laughs> like, you will never love yeah. him like we do. And, like, when... I had my, like, Bob Odenkirk moment when I was, like, watching Better Call Saul. Mm -hmm. And so was Peter. Like, he would call me president of Bob Odenkirk Nation. And these random people started commenting. And they were like, you don't love him like we do. And I'm like, actually, I've loved him since 2016. So you need to back up, actually. (laughs) Okay, beef with people online. (laughs) Yeah. So, and then he said something about me being the president of Paul Giamatti Nation. And he goes, looking around for those people. (laughs) (laughs) So, I mean, like, I love gatekeeping. But, like, I hate what happens to me. Or when guys are like, no, yeah, name five Marvel movies. Oh yeah, it's like oh, actually, no, not more than you do actually. So yeah, no, and then they act like we're stupid. They're like, I don't think you understand what happens in this movie. It's like I actually have seen it more times than you have actually. <laughs> I actually saw it in theaters premiere night. So yeah, so. Anyway. <laughs> uh, my next one is actually going to be uncooked ramen. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> so you break it up on the plate. I understand. <laughs> and then you sprinkle the seasoning on it. And it's so good. It's so crunchy. And it's like, I feel so fat ass when I do it. I don't do it often, but I used to do it every day after school. Okay. okay. Careful, children. That's a lot of sodium. That is. Um. That's like the five. Do you remember those, like, almost five minute crafts? But it was like the, <laughs> it was the sped up and they would, like, break the ramen into, like, the sink. Like, Ew, the sink no. was, like, no. The sink was, like, broken. Like, there was a part oh of the Oh, my God, and they would fix it. And they would fix it with ramen with and super ramen. glue. Yeah. I <laughs> it was, that. like, I used to love those. I'm, like, what yeah. are we doing? And it looks so gross. I know, but then at the end, it looked, it looked fine. That's, like, one of those things for me. That you're, you're convinced you have autism? Yeah. She's convinced she has autism because she doesn't like holes. Yeah. There's a few other just say you get Just say you straight, baby. <laughs> say you straight. You don't like holes. You get it. I was not questioning my sexuality. I don't like holes. I don't like zero. I don't like Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. Sorry. What? <laughs> anyway. What a pool. Um. Okay. Me and Lynn were talking about her yesterday. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I get she is. Anyway. Um. <laughs> what was we on? Oh, gatekeeping things. I love doing that. What was yours? Ramen, ramen, yeah. ramen. Yeah, I, I don't like ramen. Mary used to make beef ramen. Ew, beef is gross. I don't, I only eat chicken. Chicken, chicken ramen. Chicken and dicking. I fuck this chicken. What can I get you? Okay, sorry. We gotta wrap this. Up. Arguing with men, Loki. I love doing that. <laughs> no, I like arguing with men too, even when I'm wrong. <laughs> even when I'm wrong. And I'm like, I'm like, no. I'm like, are you not a feminist? Or it's like, um, do you not like women? Or hey, what do you not understand? I'm always right. <laughs> Dude, I love Hey, good we're then. dating. I'm always right. Like, is that healthy? No. That's period. I read this thing the other day, and it was like, it's not you versus him in an argument. It's you and him versus the argument. Yeah, versus the problem. Yeah, I know. I was like, period. That's not profound. That's all on Facebook like 10 years ago. Well, that was life changing for me. I've never seen that before. I could have told you that. <laughs> okay, well, therapy, couple counselor. Perfect. No, me and Lena are fine. <laughs> Marital box. <laughs> Don't do that to them. Sorry. Should okay. we do an ASMR? Should we do an ASMR one? Did you go? Yeah, arguing with men. I love oh, doing yeah. that. I love the female rage that's inside of me. Oh, yeah. I love being like, what do you mean? Hey, what do you mean? Like, there's this one guy. 
uh, that you know very well. And it was when Speak Now came out, Taylor Swift's album. <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? It's just re-recorded. Like, what does that even mean? And I was like, you don't get it. And I was like, well, Scooter Braun, like, I'm saying all this stuff. And he's like, well, I think it's stupid anyway. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> then why the fuck did you ask? Yeah, then why did you ask? And I was like, you know what's funny? And this is the argument I had a billion and ten times. It was always like, do you know what's funny? Whenever you like something that I don't really care about, I still ask you questions and I, and I like, it's important. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so like, I just love, and that's why he's not married. <laughs> so, I don't die on that hill. I'm just gonna, you were saying some dangerous things because this podcast is getting <clears throat> bigger. <laughs> okay. He's never gonna know. So oblivious. Um, um, but yeah, I love okay. arguing with men. My last one is gonna be um, collecting squishmallows at 21 years old. That'll do it. I have like over a hundred, dude. Dude, dog. I do love them. They're so cute and they make me happy. So whatever. There's people older than me that do it. So I, I have squish smallers, but not like crazy. But like, well, I'm not crazy. You Just, see that girl who taped all of them to the ceiling yeah, and they fell. I follow her. And then they fail. Yeah, and she has blue hair. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. California. I just, just saw her picking them up off the ground. Yeah, I bought a squish mall from her. Oh my god. Yep. That I is love crazy. her. That is really crazy. I forget her name. I follow her. Blue hair squishmallow collector, probably. <laughs> yeah, Starbucks barista squishmallow collector. <laughs> Dude. Uh, but yeah, but that was it for our guilty pleasures. I I feel like that's kind of in tandem with hot takes. Uh, yeah, but they're different though. You know what I mean? It's like why do you keep doing that? You've been doing that all day. <laughs> this is funny. Fucking freak! I saw. You know what I told my mom over the weekend? I went, only freaks back up into a spot. She goes, here I am being fucking weird. <laughs> here I am being a fucking freak, Kelly. <laughs> no, she, I said, who's a Frank freak? <laughs> I said, I was like, only freaks back up into a spot. And then the next day she went, here I am being weird. I said, no, I said, you're a freak. She goes, okay, that's insane. That's what she said. Oh. She goes, here I am being weird. And I was like, no, I said, it was freaky. I said, you're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Every She's episode like, that we come intense. out with, I send it to my mom. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then... Um, and my mom is personally subscribed, so... My mom, I asked her, I said, what do you think of the podcast? She goes, I haven't had time. To- we are just yapping up. We are just yappers. Um, the iPad ran out of storage. So, we're on the phone. Now on the phone. Now on the phone. You know what I mean? We just like to talk. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done. I think we're calling it quits. I think. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.